Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Looking at a saw that you don't see on this workbench very often. Hell, you don't see very often, period, anymore, especially in this good of shape. We're looking at Elver's Home Light 719C. That's pretty early serial number there. That's got to put this thing in the, I don't know, 56, 57 range, if I'm remembering things right. But look at the overall condition. Look at the paint. This saw has not been used that much. I mean, just looks nice. There's some obvious stuff missing. We'll go through a little bit of this and uh, kind of see where we need to go with this. Obviously, we've got a problem here. Whatever retainer screw was holding the muffler piece and all of that in place is not here. That shouldn't be that difficult to figure out. Um, he did indicate to me that he'd inspected the piston and that it looked great. And judging by the compression, then I feel I agree with that assessment. Let's see if I can get this up on. Oh, yeah. Man, that looks beautiful. I don't know that you guys will be able to see there. I think that caught it. Nice and shiny, no carbon buildup. Like I say, I don't think this saw's got that many hours on it. Okay, I think this used a through bolt just to hold all this into place, and I'm gonna hope that's the case because this uh, port on the head is wallered out a little bit up here. Whatever, we'll make it work. If it wasn't a through bolt before, it will be this time, and it'll be one that looks like it belongs there. Okay, so with that checked out, one of the first things I like to do, I don't know why, is pull the trigger. It's not going anywhere. Watch. Hardly any movement at all. So the way these govern saws worked, the rod needed to be on the back side of the carburetor, so I know somebody's been into here at some point trying to repair this saw. And this black hose is newer I can tell that much as well and I'll be danged if it doesn't look like perhaps a new fuel turret down there on the carburetor that's pretty nice looking for a, a 60 year old saw so to fix that I'm gonna have to pull this loose get the curb out and install it with that rod behind the throttle arm there no big deal I'm gonna go through that carb anyway and pressure test it other problem though Listen that compression. That's beautiful. Short rope, but this pulley won't freewheel in any one direction here. And it should, because if it started right now, it's not going to release. It's just going to rip the damn rope and probably break this starter screw. And these are probably the hardest thing to find. So let's get into this real quick. I want to see what we're up against. And if I need to order some parts, I'm going to do it. So for starters, I wanted that screen out of the way. We need to get this pulley off. There's a sequence to getting these things apart. And I'm going to see if I can remember it the first time around. I see that there's a screw missing down here. That's not uncommon, but that will be fixed before this goes back together. Where if this stupid foam blows up one more time. It was quiet for a couple days around Christmas, and my God, has the email just been off the charts since then. Enough to drive me insane a little bit. Can't keep up. Okay, well, we're going to start a bin for this. That is not the original handle. We'll find something that's a little better going back together. 
All right, so you should have, typically, this looks like more than it needs, but there's usually one or two of these nylon, bakelite, whatever the hell they are, shims, to get the spacing right there. Now this recoil spring, there's a shield that's supposed to be over the top of this, so that's missing. I'm going to want to figure that out. That's interesting. I don't think the spring is actually broken. But I'm going to have to take it out at some point and see. I oh, know. Yeah, it's been broken. I can see there's been a special or uh, an attempt at bending the hook down here. Okay. Now, oh, whatever. Let's get the rest of this off. So now that that pulleys out of the way. We should be able to sneak this spring and screen assembly up over the top of the ball drive here. And then let's see what's wrong in that ball drive. I hate taking those things apart. If you've ever taken one of those ball drive setups on like an old Briggs apart, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get the balls back in place be a pain in the ass. I mean the little grease trick works but then you gotta get them. Ooh. Alright there's a piece of the plate that's broken up here. That cannot be a good sign. Wow. Something about this just a doesn't look right. Alright, let's get... Oh. Get this loose. So Elver had taken this to several local saw shops in his area and they basically went, uh-uh. He's in the Tri-Cities area, so that's... Oh, what, Spokane, Richland, and... I don't remember what the other try is, to tell you the truth. This should be interesting getting this off of here since this won't spin to clear these screws. I'll have to get a little creative. These ball drives were notoriously finicky. Sometimes you'd have to smack the side of the saw to get them to drop, but. Oh, well, gentlemen here, and ladies, if you're watching, here's part of the problem. Let me zoom this in. And I won't go any further, because it'll go out of frame. What are those, right? Those starter balls ought to be contained within this assembly right here, and they are not. So that's a problem. That is a big problem. Bear with me, I'm going to adjust this again. We'll see, whoop. We'll see if we can't figure this out. So there's these, get the rest of these screws out of the way if I can now, there we go. So there's three small screws that hold this down, Let's see if we can get those loose and we'll see how much damage there actually is in here. Virtually certain that this top plate is not going to be salvageable. With that big chunk missing, I don't know what the hell did that. But if there's a way to salvage the bottom brass piece, the trick is finding all this stuff. 
even with all the freaking parts I've collected, I don't come across this stuff a whole. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't realize I moved that so far out of frame. Again, be very aware if you take this apart, you're going to have fun putting it back together. Okay. Quite a bit of wear and damage on this brass piece right here. Wow. Damn. Yeah, this is shot. Check it out. See how these tabs are all broken out right here. That's part of what's supposed to retain those. The balls are supposed to be in these recesses right here. And in theory, when the engine starts spinning, it'll fling them back to their stops. So that it'll free spit. This will free spool and not, like I say, rip that rope out and rip the cover off. The way this is damaged, I'm not sure this can ever work right with this particular assembly. This would be a serviceable, a single part. I think the bearings were considered serviceable. I don't think the brass was sold separately of the, the aluminum here. I know this bottom plate you could buy separately. But there's something missing here. The whole bottom plate is missing. And unless I'm on glue, you know, I don't work on these a hell of a lot. There should be a bottom plate right here that went between the flywheel and the brass here. Because otherwise, what we've got... I don't know, maybe that's right. Maybe that's right. That is sitting pretty tight. I know this is a lot of bumbling around. But what we'd need to do in theory is get these balls up in here. That's where a little dab of grease. We'd set this into place. Actually, we'd set the cover on. Assuming this was assembled right, I'm not buying it. Something about this just doesn't feel right. And I know there needs to be a cover up here. But those holes... Huh. I'm going to have to go to the IP... No, that's right. Because these holes are recessed so that those small screws can hold it in place. Alright. Since this has already become a long, mumbling mess, let's try something stupid. Maybe this doesn't have to be as hard as I'm making it. No, it does. Because that won't slide up. That makes sense. Alright, let's get our grease out and we'll just see if we can get this together and get it to function at all. So I'm going to put a little dauber of grease. And that held it. Now the trick is not to bump this too many times. gotta be one. Okay. Well, amazingly those are in place. Now of course this is the last thing that you want when you're uh, when you're trying to start it. You don't want them stuck like that. 
So we'll have to flush that with a little bit of gobbledygook. Some brake clean or something. All right. I'll be damned. What do we got to lose? Besides absolutely nothing. There's enough wear on there, even if we get this together and it acts the way it should. At bare minimum, I want to find this plate. And this aluminum plate right there. Actually, maybe that's steel. That's steel. Take that back. You can tell by how solid it is. I get these down now, then I don't think those balls can slip out of place as long as I don't do something stupid like lift this cup up. And you guys know that's one of my mottos is try not to do stupid stuff, at least not on camera. I don't need evidence of that. cover screwed in place so that we don't lose what we had and we'll try and get those balls to come loose what I'd like to do is find out if this thing has the essential spark yeah see that damage down below is making that a little bit rough I don't know that this is gonna work all that well screwdrivers magnetized. Sometimes that's a blessing, sometimes that's a curse. I was saying earlier, be careful before you take one of these apart. You can see it's not super complicated, but I'd recommend going to my website and printing out that page of the IPL for whatever model it is you're working on. That's interesting. I'm going to laugh if I have to play back the video to figure out where the hell that other piece of that went. you got to be kidding me. Where the hell is the race? I guess I should have paid closer attention. Surely it was in there. That couldn't have been. I didn't look at this that closely when it came off. By God, I think the actual bearing race is missing down here. And that could be... God, if a guy tried to start that. Huh. Yeah. Son of a bitch. There should be an inner race right here. Right over the crankshaft to go to that bearing. And the upper one is missing. Huh. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. can of brake clean. It's just, ah, there we go, some electronics cleaner. That'll be better than W40. There's a ball recess. And I just knocked that one loose. Man, that's got good compression. I'll tell you that much, cannot complain about that. All right. I'm going to do this gentle because I don't want Yeah, that's rough. But, okay, you see how that's locking? That would be cranking, and then once the engine starts, you want those balls to recess and let it freewheel. So it's doing that. Now, part of that roughness could be because I don't have the right bearing race down in there. There's no bearing race at all, and I think there should be a flat washer up top. But, 
There we go. Man, listen to that compression. That's amazing. Get that kind of a puff. Pretty cool. I'm willing to bet that it probably has spark. And I'm willing to bet that it has carburetor issues. If I tried to start it right now, it's locked at uh, full throttle. And I couldn't start it anyway, but the point is that's the, where it's set. The governor can't do any of its work or anything. So, this is a good point to stop. I need to see if I've got a recoil spring. This is not correct. Guarantee that the factory spring did... The spring didn't come from the factory with a, a shape like that. So, find the right spring in here. Source a few screws. See if I can find some hardware for in here, the race, and then the washer, and see what I can find out on eBay and in my own stock, maybe. I don't know. Uh, in the way of this ball drive set up. This is too nice of a saw. I mean, this thing is not going to take a lot to get running if I can resolve those issues. This thing is way too nice to not do this right, so... That's the introduction. It went a hell of a lot longer than I anticipated, but I think it's worth uh, worth you guys seeing this ball drive set up and, and what it is and what it kind of what it should be doing versus what it is doing. I honestly don't know what led to the damage right here where it blew the top of the plate out, unless those balls got smashed somehow and wedged in there, and this thing managed to start and it wasn't able to free spool maybe I don't know hard to say not knowing in a case like that but anyway I'll source some parts and then uh, the next time we come back with any luck the video will end with a test run